all copyrighted. So what time is it, Derek? 6.34. And we are on our way to what? McDonald's. Indiana. McDonald's, but Indiana, what part? Evansville. Evansville. So. All righty. Hi, everyone, an official hello. Hello. It's me, Darlene, and I think Skyla. you guys know this girl. I got new glasses. She has new glasses. Well, I can't see the screen, but I think we're on it. And we are on our road trip. I am going to explain that you guys are going to see this hot mess. <laughs> I don't have makeup on. I haven't slept for two nights. We got to bed kind of late last night, and we got up at 5 a.m. <sighs> That was like not what I wanted to do a day after flying, but it was good. And we rented this van. Let's show them the van. You can model the van like your van of white or something. <laughs> oh yeah, it's locked. And there is Jared. Say hi, Jared. That is Skylar's very handsome brother, older brother. Skylar is nine. Jared is twelve. And. This is the van we rented for this road trip, and it it's there's Derek. He's so <laughs> it closes by itself. Okay, open the door, and, and I'm gonna force him to say hi. Hi, Derek. Daddy. <laughs> and I have no clue what the temperature is, but it's cool. It's my kind of weather, and it's windy, and I'm good with that. And we're are we still in Arkansas right now? We're in Arkansas. I'm gonna stop by and visit the Duckers. We are in Illinois now. We have been on the road for three, a little over three hours. We have two hours left to go. And, uh, you know, the ride itself is very, very nice and smooth. And I don't get car sick unless I would be like reading or something while driving or riding, I should say. And the van really worked out great for us. The kids are liking it. I'm still just a mental mess. And, uh, but I am. Um, I'm along for the ride. I have no choice. And we're going to, um, I don't know, just kick back tonight and do stuff. Derek will be playing. He doesn't know if the kids can go down to the venue to watch him at all. If he can, I will do that. If not, I'll just do something to entertain them. So, we're on the road again. I can't really record anything much today, and I feel horrible. Not only because of life circumstances, but I am running on no sleep, and my face shows it, my eyes show it. You know, when I travel, I don't know, there's something about my eyes, I don't know if it's a change in atmosphere or just um, different things that would cause allergies or whatever, but I don't know, I just feel like crap all the way around. I'm in the hallway. Um, of our hotel because Derek is just going in the shower. Skylar actually just woke up from a nap. She's been sleeping. Derek and I were just chatting before he goes to play. And uh, Jared is playing his game and he talks to somebody while he's doing that. So I can still hear him even though I'm out here. But I really don't have much of a video. We recorded a little tiny bit. On the way here, we made it here. It was... um six hours in all from when we left the house to when we got here. That includes a couple of stops that we made. The ride itself was very nice and there was no sun. I don't think Derek realizes how happy I was about that because I kept saying, this is like the perfect day for me to be six hours in a car <laughs> because there was no sun. I just, um, I don't know how to explain it. There's just so much going on emotionally inside of me that it's just so hard to to do things, but I think I went through the motions pretty good, and I told the kids that, oh, and they're not allowed to go see Derek play, so I can't take them there. I told them I would take them for a ride. You don't know how much. I don't want to, I don't want to do anything, but I also don't want to just sit here in a hotel room either. Uh, so uh, when Derek goes to play, I will go get the van, and we're just going to go riding around and see if we can get lost or not get lost and suddenly as an audience and um, I don't know where to go. There's no place for me anywhere. Stairs. Do I want to go in the stairway? Sure. Let's go in the stairway. And um, I just, I don't know. I don't want to get into all this. 
I just feel like crap and I'm just letting you guys know that I'm very honest and if it sounds like it's wrong, I don't give a flying fuck. I just don't. I'm just letting people know I'm not feeling it. I don't know. I just don't know. I am so up in the air with where my life is going. I have absolutely no idea. I just know that I look like shit. Um, I just feel like shit. I feel like my whole life is just being sucked out of me, blood and all. I just feel like I'm being completely drained. And it's just because it's a roller coaster. I'm convinced there's no happy ending for me in this. No matter what happens, I will not be happy because even if steps go in the direction I wanted, they're going in that direction by me just finding out so many other things or being just made to feel worse and worse and worse. And I don't let go of those things. I just don't. I am in the hallway of a fucking hotel at a casino talking on a camera, looking like this and bummed that I have to go take two children out and entertain them. I, I would rather just sit in the stairway all night, just sit there and cry, cry like a baby all night. I just, I don't know. So I wanted to let you guys know how I was doing. <laughs> this is it. I just need to get through tonight and then tomorrow I need to, you know, do the motions to get through that. Sunday we go back and I don't know. I don't really have any, you know, other reports, I, you know, about my mother and stuff. I don't know at this point. And I'm just, um, I just know that I'm still sick to my stomach and I didn't think today I'd have any moments at all where I felt better. But, you know, I did have a little bit of time with Skylar. She asked, um, Jared said something about he knew I was on Patreon and so she wanted to know about Patreon and I explained it to her. And so she knows now there's another group. It's not just Peanut Gallery. So she said, can I write a message to them? So I said, the first thing you need to do is tell them that you have permission to. I didn't want everybody to think that I had just left my laptop open and that she was doing that. You know, she wanted to write a message. So of course I supervised just to make sure she wasn't going to say anything like really bizarre, but uh, she did good. She used her own words and, you know, she typed a little message and, you know, it was just, it was kind of cute. I like that she wants to be involved with the people, my online family. She, she, she's going to be, she's not going to be as whacked as me when she grows up. I can already tell she is much more um, mentally stable. She's probably not an abused child. <laughs> I think that's quite apparent and it shows and she's growing up to be, uh, you know, quite a nice, caring person and I'm very happy to see that. I hope nothing destroys her in this world. All right, I gotta get back to the room. Derek's probably getting ready to go and he thinks I'm in the hallway. He doesn't know I'm in the stairway. Probably thinks I ran away. <laughs> So I will, uh, oh my god, I thought I was locked into this stairway. I was ready to start banging on the door. All right, I gotta go now. I've talked enough. Therapy session is over. I will um, probably be able to guarantee you that none of this trip is going to be happy-go-lucky, Darlene. You get honest Darlene with real feelings, and that's all I can offer. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon.